have to interview, I have to do this. <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. So first of all, welcome to Miami. Thank you. How are you liking it? I love it. I love Miami. It's so great. Uh, everyone here is going to be. So the fans want to know, when is your next album coming out? Um, well, uh, it'll be my first one ever. Uh, but uh, I'm actually right when I get back from New York, so I'm starting to record. So uh, in the near future, in the next few months, it should be uh, it should get ready. Are the songs already done or are you just going to Yeah, no, I've got everything done, like ready. I just need to record so um, it's just been so busy with, uh, with work. Like, I just went after 100 games and grown ups too, and then we got some notes in the work, so it's like, it's just been crazy. It's been crazy. So, speaking of the grown ups too, how was it working with Adam Sandler? Oh, he's a man. Yeah, Adam, yeah. Adam is uh, he's, he's amazing. He's uh, exactly how you could picture him in the movies. That's awesome. So, yeah. I'm sure a lot of jokes, practical jokes happen on that set. Oh yeah, it was one of the best summers of my life. He is, he is the most humble and just honest and like really, really just sweet man, but like just so funny. He's like, he's like, like 19. He like acts like he's like a kid. Like, he's so speaking of practical jokes, I know on the set of The Hunger Games, I've heard a few stories and I actually have to meet some of the unknown tributes like Ethan Jameson, Tara McDonald. Oh yeah. And they said a joke about Ethan going and farting on <laughs> Jack Quad. Any other practical jokes or anything like that that went on? Um, yeah. Jeez, uh, there's there were so many on that set. Uh, let's see, there was one where I so it was like a super hot day, so mm -hmm. I had like close to nothing on. I was, it was just so hot, and I just took everything off. And um, I left all my clothes in the trailer, and we were doing this big fight sequence. By the Monocopia, so um, it was really hot and sweaty. So um, I needed to change. So as I go back to my trailer and I take basically all my clothes off, I go to my trailer and all my clothes are missing, <laughs> everything. So I'm basically just naked <laughs> with no clothes. And I see this little note that has this like little symbol on it, and it's this symbol that Jackie and Amanda, who uh, Jackie plays Foxface, Jackie Emerson, and uh, Amanda. Mm -hmm. um, they had this little symbol that they do after they play these pranks. So uh, they had they they had uh, hidden my clothes in uh, in the fridge. <laughs> and I couldn't find it for like an hour. So, uh, but those guys are they're amazing. They're like my little sisters, but they are they are so they're so evil. <laughs> well, I saw you and I'm. Mandela started getting to fight over Twitter and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. about butt face yeah, and all yeah, yeah. that, so everybody was enjoying that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I love that girl. She's like my <laughs> second little sister. Uh, my other, well, I got a little sister. She's just like my little sister. Yeah. Let's see what else they ask. So you did end up winning Best Villain at the MTV Movie Awards. Yeah. Do you see Kato as a villain? Because I personally don't think he's a villain. I just think he's like misunderstood. How do you see Kato? Um, <clears throat> well, I guess I... I can see like how you would be in that category. If you had to be in a category, that makes sense. Um, but no, that's 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 what I love about Kato is that he's very, he's like extremely complicated. He's a very complex character. Because at the end of the movie, my goal was if I give the audience a sympathize with the character for even just a millisecond, I would have done my job. And it was a great experience to be able to portray such a complex character. Um, I don't. Yeah, he's you know at the end of the movie, I. At least, at least I, I, I hope that people will realize that you know he's just like any any other kid or any other guy that was thrown into the arena, and um, he didn't really have a say in the way his life was going to turn out. It just it just happened that way. So I mean, he was great at what he what, what he was taught, which was killing. So uh, everyone saw him as the bad guy because he was the most feared, mm -hmm. the most skilled. But um, was he necessarily a villain? That's, I guess that's up to the, the fans to decide. That's a good answer. It's better than what I would have come up with. Thank you. <laughs> so speaking of the characters, if you could play any other character, who would it be and why? Rue. Because <laughs> she's, uh, she's always one of my favorite characters <laughs> in the book. Um, if I could play any other character, <clears throat> well, um, well, Finnick is a great, great character. I, lo I, love, I love that character. I think um, whoever does play that is going to have a really big weight on their shoulders, but it's going to be a great, great role for any actor to play, so 
that had always been an <coughs> interest, uh, interest in mind, like character-wise. Mm -hmm. And if I hadn't played Kato, I think that would have been something I would have loved to have played. So at the end of... But I love playing Kato, though. I had, I had the best You did an amazing job at it, too. Thank you so much. Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> At the end of the shooting of the movie, most of the props, a majority of the props were all sold off at auction in North Carolina. Did you get to keep any of the props? Did you steal any of the props? I didn't know that, actually. You didn't? They, they were auctioned off, no. I actually learned that watching Hollywood Treasures, because they were selling District 12, the site that was District 12. They went up to auction because the actual owner couldn't afford it, and all the fans were going over there, and they actually stole the V off of the bakery. Yes. Oh so just God, look up Hollywood Treasures Hunger Games that's so sick. episode. That's all in there. It's actually where I learned how all the props were getting sold and stuff like that. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna steal Kato's sword. Uh, I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, they, they probably would have let me keep keep something. I probably should have, but uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. So, what is your favorite memory of the film? Um, uh, there were just so many. I think the, the I would say. There was a particular uh, moment that I that I liked the best, but it, um, just we all became such a close family, and we're all going through this just absolute madness together. Um, and I think just you know making these great friendships that last forever. And you know, like you said, like Amanda and I are extremely close after this, and Dio and Jack and Josh and, and all, all the boys, I mean, I mean, you know, everyone. And we still all talk and we all keep in touch. So, um, I think just you know, making new friends and just go. Well, that's pretty much all the questions we got. Thank if you, you so can much. give a shout out to HungerGamesTrilogy.net. What's up, HungerGamesTrilogy.net? Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.